Hey, what is going on internet? Josh Noel from Sunduck Film. So in this tutorial, we're gonna continue our series on Christmas motion graphics. And in this video, I wanna create a Christmas tree using particles, kind of just like you see on the screen right here. And here is the full animation of what we'll be creating in this video. And I think it's really awesome. I've been you know, playing around with the uh, particles today, figuring out how to do this. So you will need a uh, trap code particular to follow along in this video. And plus you will need to have access to uh, Adobe Illustrator. And we do have the optical flare at the top, but that is optional as always. But uh, let's go and jump right into this uh, tutorial and see how we can create this. So the first thing we're gonna do is go up to layer new null object and layer new light. And let's title this uh, light layer emitter and make sure it's a point and we'll click okay. And okay. And what we need to do is maybe go to the null two here, or it should be null one for you. Hit P on your keyboard, select the position, copy it, go to the emitter and just paste the position there. So the light and the emitter are basically right on top of each other. So let's go right over to Illustrator and sort of create that path that we need for our Christmas tree. So here we are in, in Illustrator. Uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab the line tool here and we're just like draw out a straight line kind of like this and you know, very simple like that. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over here and we're gonna grab the twirl tool. It's underneath the width tool. And let's go and double click this and let's talk about some settings. So I'm gonna use about, you know, like 300 to 300 width and height, keep the intensity at 50%, the twirl rate at, twirl rate at 40 degrees, the detail at two and the sim, uh, simplify at 50. And those are my settings. So you can take a look at that and I'm gonna click okay. And then I'm gonna go to the end of our line here and all I'm gonna do is a click and hold it down and twirl this around a few times until I think that's uh, enough animation for my Christmas tree. Then I'm gonna hit A on my keyboard and I'm gonna start like selecting some of these points that we don't need, like the side point over here. And we don't like need, you know, these points. And then maybe come here to the middle and delete that extra, uh, you know, segment there. And then now we kind of have our twirl or sort of our circular path and just center this up. And if you want, you can hit V on your keyboard and we can make this a little bit larger. I'm not sure if that's really needed to do, but I did it anyway. And when we're done, make sure this is all selected and you copy it. And then we can head right back over to After Effects and we can go to the emitter and we can paste our uh, position detail right in here. Just hit P, bring up the position and paste it right in there. And we have this like this roam, row over time sort of keyframes here. So let's go ahead and maybe pull this out to maybe like four to five seconds or however long you want your animation to be. And then make sure all the keyframes are selected and you right click one of them and you click on keyframe assistance and you click on time reverse keyframes. So now it will be coming from the outside all the way to the top. And now what we gotta do is parent our emitter to our null object, kind of just like this. And let's make our null object a 3D layer just for whatever reasons we want. And let's uh, go to the X rotation and let's set this to 90 degrees. So now it'll be animating kind of like from the side point of view, which is what we need. And then let's go to the position here. Let's add a keyframe and let's maybe bring this down just by a little bit. And then let's go to the end of our animation of five seconds here and let's just drag this up. So now we'll have a full extent of our Christmas tree. And then let's go and do the particles. Uh, for this tutorial, so let's go to layer, new, solid, and we can call this one particles. And let's go to effect, trap code, and we'll use particular. So the first thing we'll do is we'll set the emitter type to light. And if we look, we scroll through here, now we got just a little upward animation. Of course, this is not what we want. So let's go and start refining, refining some of these settings. So maybe set the velocity down to 20. Uh, maybe the velocity for motion, I'll probably set that down to zero. And then let's set the emitter X, Y, and Z values to zero. And then let's go into the particle in here and let's set maybe the life per second to like, you know, however long your animation is gonna be. So maybe this entire animation is gonna be like a 10 second video. So I'll set it to 10. And maybe we can set the size to one. And the particles are really small, but we'll get right back into that. Maybe increase the size random all the way to 100% or something. Maybe I'll keep it at 50. I don't know. And uh, the opacity random, you know, I'll keep that at 0% for this one. Um, and then we'll go into the physics. Let's go to the air and 
the air tab here and let's set the air resistance up a little bit so they don't kind of fly off so now it kind of looks like they're in this nice little spot here and maybe just for i'll put the size to two just so you guys can see it and now things are looking pretty good we probably have you know this effect in the can but i want to add some auxiliary particles to this to kind of seem like you know there's some sort of things falling from the tree so let's go to the aux system here let's turn it to continuously and you know that looks really awesome it looks like some bokeh but uh let's set the but let's set the emit probability down to 10 uh maybe the particles per second down to one uh the life per second back to 10 so they don't die and we almost got some you know random lights in there so you know, if you want to just create some optional elements in here, like maybe these are like some ornaments or something, you can obviously use the uh, aux system to kind of create this. Um, but I'll, let's go ahead and maybe set it to where they're falling down. So I'm going to set the velocity to like 10. We'll go to the size, maybe set it to 1 so it's not so big. Um, and then let's go to the gravity and maybe set this up to, to like 15 or something. So now these particles will kind of like fall down and let's go to the backup to our um, particle and let's set this back to the size of one. And then let's go to our particles per second and we set this to 2000. So now we kind of have like, you know, a lot of detail in these particles. And let's go and maybe start setting some of these colors a little bit. Let's go back to the aux, the aux system and where it says color over life. Let's set this to like, you know, a nice little color. Maybe I'll just leave it at a pink color. And let's go back to our particle and set the uh, set color to um, random from gradient. And we click on color random, or sorry, uh, the uh, color over life tab. And we click on preset. I'm using this light blue preset here. Um, you can of course mess with the different colors you want or mess, you can mess with the colors. Uh, and then one last thing I wanna do is I wanna create a new solid. I wanna call this one flare. And this is optional if you have optical flares. Go up to effect. Video Copilot, and we'll use the optical flares effect. And I'll come right in here. I'm probably just going to do like a very simple lens flare. You know, I don't like doing too much flares. I just like the simple glow here. And maybe I'll set this to, you know, a pink sort of color. And that's all good. Let's exit out of here. And let's set the source type to track lights. And let's make sure to set the transfer mode to add. So now this will follow our path just like that. And maybe now we can start animating this a little bit. So maybe I'll go to the flicker for our flare, increase the speed in the amount. And then maybe what I'll do is set the brightness down to like 80% so it's not like too intense. And then add a keyframe for the brightness. And once we get to five seconds, maybe we want this to be even brighter. I don't know. And you know, maybe we'll have that. And then let's go up to layer new camera. And it's really cool. What's cool about this effect is that you have a lot of options because it is a 3D effect. So if I come into the camera, you know, I can rotate around the tree. You know, I can do whatever I want. So, you know, it looks really awesome. It's a lot of things you can, you know, you gotta think you can think about. So let's go ahead and open up the camera properties here. Let's go to the transform and let's add a keyframe for point of interest and point of position. And let's bring those two keyframes to about to five seconds right at the end of our animation. And then let's uh, go ahead and grab the track. Uh, XY camera tool, maybe bring this up a little bit, hit C on your keyboard to go to the track Z camera tool, maybe we'll zoom in a little bit, and if we scrub here, we'll kind of have some cool animation, kind of just like that, so, you know, we're kind of zooming out, if you want, maybe we can add just a little bit of rotation to this, you know, and then it'll seem like we're kind of rotating around the tree maybe a little bit, I don't know. Maybe that looks good. And let's say we want to stretch the tree out a little bit more. All we have to do is go back to the null object and just increase the Y position. And as you see, the tree kind of gets stretched out a little bit more and looks just a little bit more realistic with that point of view. And after a quick render, this is what we have. And the concept of this tutorial was just to help you guys kind of set this up. Um, and you know, of course, now you guys can animate this a little bit further. But really, I was just focusing on, focusing on the first five seconds of this video. You can go ahead and maybe do some other sort of animation, maybe rotate around the tree or do something cool. But, you know, I hope this tutorial was helpful, guys. So if you guys enjoyed the video, please drop a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And please be sure to check out my social media networks. Those links are in the description of this video. And guys, as always, thank you so much for watching this video and I hope you have a good day.